Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now on this one, we're going to be doing the best Mesprit build for raids on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The best way to get this Pokemon is either BDSP or Pokemon Legends Arceus probably. We're going to be going with the Psychic Tide Terror. We're going to be going with the Shell Bell to restore health while we're going through that raid. EVs are going into Special Attack and HP for survivability and damage. IVs, everything except attack. Ability is going to be Levitate, so ground moves can't affect us. We're going to want the Modest Nature, which is up in Special Attack, down in Attack to maximize that damage. Move set, Mr power charm calm mind psychic psychic is just there we're not really going to use it that much calm mind increase our special attack and special defense charm lower theirs physical attack by two stages mystical power every time we hit with this move it boosts our special attack we're going to use this most of the raid and if they've got a little bit of health left and we don't want to risk anything we'll just go with psychic so after 3000 years of searching the only pokemon we could find was an annihilate that was a six star fighting or poison type and i wasn't about to fight that with a mess for it so we're just going to have to settle with a 5 star fighting type Electros. Let's get straight into it. So the idea is if they're a physical attacker only, use Charm. If they're a special attacker only, use Calm Mind and then start attacking. Seeing as though it's both, its attack is higher so I'm going to use Charm. And then we're just going to get into the Mystical Power. What this does is every time we hit, it does a decent amount of damage and it raises our special attack by one stage every time. So you're always raising that attack every turn while also attacking and gaining health back from that Shell Bell. It's a very good combination. He crits us with his Wild Charge. Terrible. And he hits us with a Thunder Wave. Not our day. And then Thunder Waves us again. Behave, Electro. And then Discharge. Yo, it just used five attacks in a row. What was that about? So we get to hit it with another Mystical Power. Our special attack goes up again. We do a lot of damage to it. It's below half now. We go back to full health and the shield goes up. I'm going to believe in Mesprit that she can break through it. So it removes negative effects from itself, that's fine. We're already on plus two now. It uses Wild Charge, that's probably going to do a decent amount of damage. We hit another Mystical Power, that's fun. And we go up to plus three and now we have our Trestalize. We don't get too much health back because the shield was up. I'm going to Trestalize and use Psychic, hoping it finishes it off. Yeah, if you feel like you can finish it off, there's no point in risking another Mystical Fire. Mystical uh, Power, sorry. Watch now, we'll be paralyzed just because I want to try and see if we can finish it off. Yep, there it is. Oh, paralyzed again. We don't get an attack for the rest of the raid. Imagine. Let's see if this one works. Hey, we finally got attack away. Feels like forever. Let's see how much damage it does. We're on plus three. And we do finish it off. Took a while to break through that electric, that paralyzed, but we got there in the end. Ele Electros couldn't move because it's paralyzed at the very end. <laughs> well, that felt good, seeing it being paralyzed and not being able to move at the end. Oh, we even got some Herbamiska, amazing. Now, as you can see, this build does look very powerful. And if you're against anything other than Annihilate, you should be fine because it's a really strong Pokemon. Unusually quite strong, actually. And if you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button and I'll put a Magerna build on screen right now. That's the last build we did, so go and check that out and I'll catch you on the next one.